I'm so excited to show you more. Like I'm going to book a massage appointment for tomorrow. Gosh, <clears throat> I forgot to pick up my skirt. And we are going to make chocolate chip cookies. Either we are or Callie and Ryan are probably gonna make chocolate chip cookies. So that plan kind of flopped. Welcome to today's vlog. I am Jill and this is It's the Donnellys. I am a brand spanking new flight attendant. So um, if you guys have not been watching, check out my journey. This is a second career for me and um, it has been quite the adventure and something that I'm, I'm totally passionate about. And if you have been watching, you guys, thank you, our loyal family. Thank you so much. I've been reading your comments. You're making me tear up. It is it is so nice of you, how you've supported me in this um, adventure. And I, I'm so excited to show you more. Like, I, you're so motivating me to just show you more of what's going on and what we're doing and how this whole thing is working out. Hoping to maybe inspire some of you to um, go for that dream, go for that second career, go for that trip, go for that whatever you know, uh, talent, whatever it is that you uh, think you're holding yourself back from because maybe of your age or maybe you don't think you can do it or maybe it's too much of a hurdle, I'm telling you right now, it's life, go live it, right? Live happy, do your thing. I, you know, I very well could, I've wanted to be a flight attendant for a very long time and I could have been like, you know, eh, I'm too old or I'm, I've got a good thing going or I don't wanna be away from home or whatever. And I went and applied and did it and it is, it's great for everybody. It's great for our whole family. It's great for me. Um, I love, love, love this work. I'm only <laughs> one week in, but um, I'm sure I'm going to. I'm sure it's going to get even better as I become more comfortable with doing my work. Anyway, so I'm here to inspire you to do that and, and maybe I'll inspire you to become a flight attendant and get involved in aviation. That would be so amazing if you are that kind of person in the that sounds interesting to you and you love to fly and you love to travel and you love to, to um, meet people and make their day, I'm telling you, this is a great, great career. I've met so many fun people and great people already, so many dear people, so I'm so excited to just keep on going. But in the meantime, I am on a switch. So I did, I had a trip last week, uh, no, I had a trip that ended on Sunday and I got home and now today's Tuesday. So I used yesterday to catch up on videos and my work stuff and now today I'm using to catch up on laundry and some errands I need to run and to see some friends. And then, cause Mike's not here, Ryan's at school, but I'll have Ryan tonight for dinner. Mike's gonna, we're playing this game this week, Mike and I, so he's up, he's up north and I'm down here in Florida and then I leave on Wednesday and he comes back on Wednesday. So we're sort of tag teaming Ryan for now. We have a 17 year old, he's a senior in high school, his name is Ryan. And um, that was my only hesitation in becoming a flight attendant was am I gonna be away from Ryan too many too much on the, for his senior year. I think we've worked it out. I commute to Baltimore um, to do my work. So, but I think it's it's usually like I'll be here mostly three nights a week. I'll probably be in Baltimore two nights a week and I'll be traveling two nights a week. So um, we're working it all out and hopefully eventually Ryan will be able to come with me sometimes. Anyway, we're, that's all up in the air. But so far he is so proud of me and I think it's important that he sees his mom doing something that is, um, you know, taking a risk and doing that. And I think that's following my dreams. So I think it's a good, um, a good lesson for all for my family. So anyway, so here we are. So I'm here and I'm gonna be doing my laundry today and some stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna throw my laundry in. I'm in the laundry room as you could tell. Well, maybe, maybe not. But I'm gonna throw these in and then I'm gonna run some errands. So maybe you guys can come run some errands with me. Sound good? I would love to bring you along. in now I'm trying to book a massage appointment for tomorrow I treated myself to a massage right before I started um, training and it was delightful and then I went ahead and joined this, like this massage club <laughs> so now I'm gonna try to go in and get another massage I know it sounds crazy but as a flight attendant um, I was working what's called the C position so I'm the one that goes through and cleans the plane in between each of the flights and there's a lot of leaning over and twisting and that kind of stuff to get um, all the 
trash and stuff out of the seat bag pockets and underneath and I'm very meticulous about the way I clean. So I'm leaning over and you have to do it really fast because we're turning our planes really fast. So my back is a little like wonky. So I'm gonna try to go back and get a massage before I go back to, um, back into flying. Well, I just booked a massage appointment that I thought I was booking for tomorrow. As it turns out, I booked it for today. So it's in like an hour. I was not prepared for that, but I will go do it because tomorrow the earliest they have is after I have to be at the airport. So ooh, that's okay. I'm just going to switch things around and I'm not complaining about getting massage. I'll tell you that right now. All right. I do need to take this suitcase back to my mom and dad's. I borrowed this suitcase when I was going to training because I was away for four weeks and I didn't have a suitcase big enough to bring everything. So I brought my regular suitcase and I brought that suitcase. And then while I was at training, we bought our flight attendant suitcases. So I came back with three. Went with two, came back with three, but I'm gonna return this to my mom and dad. And I'm still putting stuff away from when I returned home from training last week because it was so intense thing. <laughs> I finished up with my massage. Do I look like a noodle? It was delightful. I'm the kind of person that holds my tension in my shoulders and my neck. So that was like, it's it's much better now, but I feel like it's gonna be a six month project to get rid of all the tension and stress I have in my neck and shoulders. I don't know where, where you guys hold yours. My mom holds hers in her stomach. Uh, and she gets like stomach things, but now. Now I'm headed into Home Goods to potentially get a side table for the upstairs. We bought some new lamps at the Goodwill last week and then, um, put them in the downstairs laundry room, I'm sorry, the downstairs living room, and then we moved those lamps upstairs. So now I need another table to put that lamp on so it matches on either side of the couch. And I'll surprise Mike, because he does not like upstairs, so hopefully this will help it be nicer. I found two tables. This guy, he's on clearance. And this guy, this guy's a little bit taller, and I do need something taller, so I think I'm gonna go with this guy. I was gonna paint him, but not up for a project right now, so this is gonna be it. I hope I fix it. I've made it home from my errands. I got out of the car and I literally was like, oh my gosh, <clears throat> I forgot to pick up my skirt. One of my uniform skirts I took last week to get hemmed because it was too long. And it was ready today, and that was really the main reason I went out, and I completely, it was on my list too, and I completely forgot. I was chit-chatting with my mom on the phone on the way back and totally forgot to stop there. But let me show you what I got, if you guys want to see. These are all the things that I absolutely had to have on my turn coming back from flying and before I fly, before I go back up tomorrow. Ready? Here we go. So I went to Target. I got my salad stuff. It's salad mix. I got two salsa verdes because I'm going to make um, pork verde for the boys for when I'm gone. And I know people are like, they can cook for themselves, but guess what? I like cooking and I like making them food and I get to eat it too and I'll probably take some with me. And I put the, got some kinto beans for that too. I got some tomatoes for my salad. I got some onions for the pork verde. I got Ryan some ham and cheese. I got some, another pair of hose because my first pair of hose that I bought already ripped and it was only my first trip. So I'm hoping these would be a little bit tighter or, or a little bit stronger. I went to Ulta. I bought this brush. It's a little like a boar bristle brush. My friend told me when she puts her hair back in a bun, which is how, how of course I wear mine when I'm traveling is then, then she like finishes it by using that and this can fold up. I'm all into travel sizes right now. So look, the baby folds right up. How cool is that? I needed a smaller um, makeup remover, so I got this for makeup remover. I also needed a smaller travel size um, serum and toner, so I got these. That's what I got at Ulta. And then at Home Goods, I didn't have to have didn't have to have any of this stuff, but I had a gift card because I re I returned a blazer that I didn't wear during training. We needed paper, and I always love having themed paper. Look, it's got little punkies on it. So we're gonna have some paper. I got this to bring with me so I can put the salsa verde in it, freeze it, and then take it with me. So um, while I'm traveling, I can eat it. Then I also got, what's this? Oh, I also got this, which I use 
It's a little Pyrex, just one cupper. We have a big one that has four cups, but when I fill a cup of water to heat it up in the microwave for my coffee, I needed just a little guy. And he was $3. I've been dying to get him for a long time. And then I also got this, which is a cat scratcher. It's just because we have um, cat scratchers for the kitties, but they've been all scratched up, so they're really very happy about that. And then two more things I will show you. Hold on a second. I got this welcome fall sign. I'm gonna put it out on our front door, our front patio. I've always wanted something like that. And I was like, today's the day, so I did it. And remember that I told you that I wanted to get another table. Let me show you what, it, what that's for. So these are the lamps that used to be downstairs and we moved them upstairs. I'll show you the lamps that we got from the Goodwill, but it, this one goes on that table and then I needed another table on that side. So look, I got that table right there. They don't necessarily match, but I think it's kind of cool because it brings in the brown and the light colors and the, um, what is that, aqua. So I'm gonna put the other lamp over there and hopefully Mike will like that and be happy. So here we go. So this is what it looks like now. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know you guys, comment down below what you think about that table and that table in the same room. The bottom of that table matches the bottom of this table and the top of that table is what it doesn't really match but it's okay i think it brings in the wood tones but you guys let me think know what you think it all ties in with that palm tree picture but callie's coming over tonight and we are going to make chocolate chip cookies either we are or callie and ryan are probably gonna make chocolate chip cookies for mike because it's one of his favorite things so when he returns home from work tomorrow we will surprise him with a plate of chocolate chip cookies like he surprised me with flowers and balloons and signs and all that stuff when i graduated it's just such a nice thing um, for him to do for us, so we're going to do something nice for him. Not that it's a tit for tat by any means, but I know he loves chocolate chip cookies. And we're like, oh, let's make some chocolate chip cookies. I'm also going to attempt to make pork verde. Did I already mention that? Yes, I'm going to make that tonight. Maybe I'll do that while they're doing the cookies. So that's all ready for those guys tomorrow night when they want to eat dinner. Um, but I'm going to run to the grocery store now because we need a few ingredients for the cookies. So plans have changed. We decided not to make cookies. Kate at... Callie and Ryan decided instead to go get ice cream, but then the line was too long, so that plan kind of flopped. Mike just called me, so it interrupted my video. I don't even remember where I was. Hey, Eddie, come on in. Um, so we didn't make cookies. They went to the ice cream. I was doing my laundry, gonna pack, all that stuff. Yes, okay, anyway. So tomorrow I am commuting up to Baltimore for my flight and um, I'll be sitting reserve. I don't remember if I even went through that. I'm gonna be sitting reserve so I don't know where I'm flying to. So I'm going to just pack my uniforms and stuff like that and then once I find out where I'm going, I have like, I think two hours to get to the airport. So once I find out where I'm going, I'll quick pack like, maybe some shorts if I'm going somewhere that's warm or I'll pack um, sweaters if I'm going someplace cold, but I'll usually go more than one place, but I'll have two overnight. So if I have an overnight in a warm and a cold, then it's a lot of stuff I have to pack. But anyway, I'll figure all that out and I can explain more about that later because that's what sitting reserve is all about. So it's basically like being on call. So anyway, I'm going to call it a night, you guys. I've got a lot to do tomorrow. I'm feeling a little bit of a um, scratchy chest, so I want to get a lot of sleep tonight. So in case there's a a cold coming on, I'm staving it off. I did take my emergency like I do every day just to make sure, and that's that. So I'm gonna go feed Eddie. He just came in from outside and he is ready to eat. And I hope you guys are having a great night. Ryan is upstairs doing his homework. Let's just get a little peek of Ryan, just so he can say hi. Hey, Ry guy. He's working very diligently on his homework though, so I'm not gonna bother him too much. We're just gonna say hi to him really fast. Hi, Ryan. Hey. How you doing? Good. Good. Are you enjoying our new lamps? Um, well, not our new lamps. The lamps aren't new. The new table and the new lamp setup. Yeah, I'm like, uh, I'm like, where? How are we gonna elevate this light? And then. And then, bam! It happened. Came home with the table today. I was so happy. <laughs> Thanks, boys. I was like, dang, there's so much light in this room, but it's below the couch. <laughs> what are we gonna do? And then you just came through with the fix. That's how it works. You know, you think and you dream and then bam, it happens. I love it. Did you have a good day today? Mm -hmm. Fantastic, what was your highlight of your day? Uh, coming home and eating, I made some gas burritos. Yes, you did. Yeah. You eggs and bacon and ham. Fantastic. It was like a meat lover's breakfast burrito. Basically. Excellent. All right, babe, so uh, big day tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah.
Yeah, I'm gonna make cookies for dad. And make cookies for dad tomorrow. Speech and everything like that. Ryan, do you want to tell everybody about you've been selected? Yeah. So um. So, as you guys know, I'm a part of a big part of the young life in my area, and uh, every year we do a banquet where all the parents come, and uh, I've been selected to speak. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm writing a speech for um for what that's gonna look like, and then tomorrow I'm meeting with our area leader to go over it and some logistics of what's gonna happen that night. So I'm a little bit shy, a little bit nervous. There's gonna be like 200, 250 people there. It's, it's a big deal. It's gonna be fun though. Yes, right. so you are I'm, the man for it. I'm really trying to dial the speech and make sure I don't embarrass myself. Uh, you're gonna be great. Excellent. So. Well, congratulations. Mm -hmm. I'm so yeah. excited. So you guys, I'll be at that banquet, so we'll get to see, and I will film his speech for you, so stay tuned. So you can hear Ryan's speech. Is that okay with you? Mm -hmm. if I share it? All right. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below. What made you guys happy today? Stay tuned for more exciting stuff from yeah. It's the Donnelly's. Yeah. <laughs> and watch over here. We'll put something fun over there. I'm not sure what it is going to be yet, but it'll be something fun. If you haven't watched it, watch it. If you've already watched it, watch it again. You know what I was thinking about the other day? What? Uh, the swim meets and how we used to come out. And dad would play the Monday Night Football theme. Yeah. Oh, we'll put that right there. Maybe you should put a sw old swim meet. Open an old swim meet up there. You guys can watch. It is super fun. All right. See you guys. Bye.